look at this picture. Now let's play a little game now. I want you to point at the WWE champion that looks like me. You can't. And that's been the status of every black wrestler or black fan who has ever wanted to see a champion that looked like them in the WWE with the highest title that they have. We can't. 55 years until Kofi Kingston. That's why it's so important that he has it now. It's not just a testament to hard work and still persevering even when it feels like people have given up on you. It's not just still being the individual that you were meant to be in a time where everybody wants to fall into a crowd. It's the fact that for little black boys and black girls and for black wrestlers who've been told that you will make a great addition to the card, you'll, you'll be memorable, you'll have every other championship except our top one, the chance to be the face, the ultimate product of our company. We finally see it now. How many times in school, how many times as parents or as pillars to our youth or the people coming up, are we always telling them that they can be anything that they wanna be? But for that black child or that black hopeful or prospect, when you tell them that they can be the president one day, they can't because they've never seen it. Now they can. I live in a world where I could point to someone who looks like me when at a time there were Latinos that could point to somebody that looked like them. There were Italians that could point to somebody that looked like them. Punjabi, Samoan, Filipino, Irish, Canadian, French, but not me. So Kofi isn't just a win for hard work. He's a win for us.